MIDI tracks and loops are the secret sauce to many recordings. So today, I'm gonna give you guys a crash course in how to use MIDI tracks in Logic. No keyboard required. What is up, Yoshis? My name is Beth and I run Steadfast Descent. Today, we're gonna be talking about MIDI tracks. Now, what is MIDI? Well, MIDI is an acronym that stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And for the purposes of today, because this is actually technically a historical term, it simply means that when you open a DAW, you have access to virtual instruments that can be controlled with virtual software or a standard keyboard or one of those drum pad thingies that you sometimes see. Sometimes all three can be on the same device. Now, when I realize we're not in the 80s anymore, but the reality is, is that almost all forms of music can use MIDI. It really just matters more about your creativity rather than the ability of the sounds. Now granted, virtual sounds are not always the most realistic sounding, and so sometimes you may write something and think, wow, this is really good, if only I could get a real person to play it. But unfortunately, real people can be expensive. Not to say that you shouldn't sometimes use them, and not to say that you can't negotiate with them, but the ability for you to compose something with virtual instruments is unparalleled. I'm assuming you're here because you use Logic. How are we gonna use it? It's quite simple. First of all, you just have to open up a new track, and then I go into the library, and I select whatever sound I want. Now, one of the beautiful things about MIDI and about virtual instruments generically is that you can use third-party software. Logic is filled to the brim with awesome virtual sounds, but you can get more. And now, uh, some of those cost a lot of money, but there are plenty of free things that you can find on the internet. There are also plenty of third-party free virtual softwares. My favorite right now is the Spitfire Audio Labs. They are insane. I'm pretty sure they're out of Britain. There's a link in the description. If you are using third-party software, then what you're gonna need to do is in the information panel, you're gonna wanna click on the sound that it's making and select select your third party and then from there you can choose the different sounds. I typically with third party software create user patches for myself so that I can just always have it accessible in the library and not have to worry about finding a particular sound. And all you have to do to do that is once you have it you just click save as and then you name your patch and then it will be available to you in the user patches file. Now like I said you don't have to have a keyboard to make sounds in Logic and the easiest way to record the instructions for your MIDI sound is quite simply to use the built-in virtual keyboard. This is easily accessible by clicking Command K, and then you just use your keyboard as a keyboard. You press record, and then it just lets you do the instructions. And the nice thing about MIDI is that you can record the instructions for what you want the sounds to play, and then as you're listening to those instructions, change what sound is playing over them. If you need more keys, you might need a keyboard. We have links to ones that we have found useful in the comments below, but honestly, you can also just like look in Facebook Marketplace or one of the other virtual marketplaces and find a used electronic keyboard because most of them have the capacity to be used as a MIDI controller in Logic. The tricky thing about MIDI is, like I said, that the virtual instruments don't always sound realistic. However, there are ways that you can get around that. We'll be talking about that in a later video, so if you have watched this far, I would just like to thank you for getting this far. Consider giving us a like if this has helped you in any way, shape, or form, and as always, feel free to subscribe for more content just like this one. As I mentioned, I will be talking about how to make virtual instruments sound more realistic. Logic has so many useful tools to this effect. So with that being said, I ask you to go forth and make music. Let us know if you do in the comments below what you are making. If you've made it this far, thank you so very much for watching.